Maybe you're listening to the ungodly influences and they're restricting the growth of your roots like this pot and they're cutting back any growth that they see and they're mocking your obedience to Christ and you're listening to them and you're turning away. Maybe you're neglecting the word and refusing to let your roots spread far and wide to the water source like this tree. You may be showing signs of life. But much like the seeds in Jesus' parable that shot up and later died, there were initial signs of life, but not genuine salvation. If you don't plant deep roots into the life source, if you don't surround yourself with godly influences, if you don't grow in your knowledge of biblical truth, you will not be steadfast. You'll be like this bonsai that is being pulled along, but will die as soon as as anything comes its way and will die as soon as it's left on its own because it doesn't have what it needs to go the distance. I love camp, but there's a key, a piece of camp every year that makes me nervous. And that's the reality that these next five days can be a surge of biblical input, a surge of biblical truth, and it's a flash in the pan, an emotional week that leads to this spiritual high it crashes as soon as you get home. It's not what we're pursuing this week. We're not about creating an emotional reaction out of you this week. We are about giving you deep roots that enable you to go the distance. We want to establish those deep roots in God's word and in godly counsel. And my prayer for you is that you will join us in that pursuit. Let's chase that together.